Hi guys, let's see how you can model a simple shoe in Onshape using surface modeling techniques and I will, I will not focus on the surface analysis, I'll just focus on how to use the tools then later you can now dive deeper on how to analyze your surface. Therefore, I will start a new part studio and give it uh, a shoe let me just let, write the word shoe the first thing is as to understand i'll be using this one to explain we need out first for to capture this view you can see yeah let me first for hide this top section we want to capture the sketch for this view then we capture sketch for this view then from there we can now create the bottom section we will start by the bottom section then we go up a section therefore i need to go to the front plane and create a sketch this sketch determines i want to create two lines here one for the overall length i'm going to assume my length of the shoe is 170 these ones are just for construction and the height let me use 60 here to be 60 like that and now all these are just the construction geometry for the height and the length then i need now to let me now create another line here just for construction another one here just for construction you see the purpose of those lines i want to define a knack from this point to this point first and i want this arc and this to be tangent. the reason why i have this line you can fix it to fully define it if you want but well, not necessarily just just for the construction same case applies to the other side from this point we need an arc i want this arc and this line to be tangent and i want the height from this point this point let's use 8 mm then the radius of this arc to be 115 this one to be 65 yeah that's better then i want to connect these two i can use a, a, a curve but for now or because i needed to translate like this to go like this if you go back here you can see it is being connected here yeah therefore the best thing to use is a spline therefore i'm going to use a spline from this point to this point like that yeah so that this goes down or that go up this go like this and this and this to be tangent then this and this to be tangent like that i want the length of this to be to be that one length of this to be 30. in the fact i can make both 30 Mm, can use an angle of 70. I have to fully define my sketch. Yeah. 30. I think that's fine. We can always fine tune it. Yeah. This one defines the front, the front view of the shoe. If now I use surface, I can now extrude this sketch. Maybe I can extrude by 100 with a symmetry okay this is this is surface that defines the front view can see okay then later we have another sketch that now defines the top view if i go top here i want to define i go back here i want to define now this shape therefore i have to do i have to model the shape here okay um let's now begin a sketch 
on to the top plane. I need, I'll first by creating a line here to act like a construction line. Like that for construction and another line on this side here. Vertical for construction. Okay. Then I need more. I need two more lines of two more construction lines. I can hide this surface now. I don't need it. For construction, for construction. Okay, I just move it a little bit inside. Like that. Um this line this one to be 17.5. This one to this to be 30. It defines this one defines the 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 extreme dimension from this edge to the other edge to be 60. Uh, first end the knock. First of all, let me create a knock here. This point, this point to be coincident. This and this to be coincident. This and this to be vertical dimension of 10. A knock of 10. Like that. Also, I need another arc from this point to this point. This arc to be tangent to this. Tangent to this, yeah. Then from this point, from this line here to this point here, let me use 80. Uh, okay, not fully defined. We'll, we'll define it later. Let me first for define. Let me first for do a spline on this side here. Let's play in here. This to be vertical. This and this to be tangent. Then I need a knock. A knock. Or should I use it? Let me see whether the knock is okay. Let me see. This and this to be tangent. Okay, can't be a tangent. Uh, okay, let me first for finalize on this back section. Let me use uh, 15. This one here to face up. Use uh, to be, let me use 30. From this point, we want to be fine from this point to this point to be, let me use 35. Uh, then let me use uh, 25. Let's see, if you take this one here and it to be tangent, or oh, now it works, that's fine. Uh, what am I missing to fully define it? Uh, okay, I have that here. I have this, okay. This and this to be tangent. Okay, this and this to be tangent. Yeah, it's fully defined. Okay. Let's see. Let me do some curve analysis and see. Okay. Let me show. Okay. We don't have a continuous. We don't have a very smooth line for our, our sketch here, but not fine. For now, let's focus on just how to use the tools on the surface modeling. Uh, let me go back here. I want to mirror the sketch on this side. Before I do that, I want to I want to, to split this arc here. Where do you get a split command here? Split. Split there. Yeah. So that you can have two sections. Because I want to mirror upper section here. You have to mirror, select the center line, then entities you want to. Yeah, that's fine. Now I have my top view, how it, how it will look like. And I have my front view shape. Therefore, I need now to create a surface using this sketch. 
or to the surface uh, like that like that yeah let me just select one by one also if you create selection you can now create selection and use a loop then select this one you, you just use two selection it selects everything okay to save some time I want to make sure these two they intersect I will go even the other side some a little bit yeah to make sure they fully intersect these are my two surfaces one defines the front view the other defines the top view front and top therefore I want now to train these two surfaces to be left by the middle section I'm going to use mutual trim that uses two surfaces like that yeah yeah okay now trim you can see now what is left i don't need the bottom section here i can always delete like that okay uh, let's do some analysis and see whether our our surface has some continuity. Let me go. Let me use cover to visualization. Let me use zebra stripes. We don't have a very smooth surface. You can see from top view we have a good continuity, but from the front view, you can see here you have some like a transition here. Okay. But that's fine for now. Okay, let me go back here. Now we want to define is this you see this curve how it goes like let's now create this surface here. We're going to create that surface, then create this, then create this. Okay, let's do then mirror on the other side. Let's now go back to the surface here uh, on the front side i want to create a sketch on the front plane okay let me see whether it is a front here yeah, it is a front one here sketch like that uh before i do that let me first for the can this by 1.5 the other side yeah i want to use part body you know let me go to new sketch number two i want to use this point use it and create a line here for construction basically let me activate my sketch here uh, i want to use a spline like that that's fine then we'll be like this and this to face up this to be vertical vertical this line and this curve to be tangent let me do another line here for construction then i want this line curve and line to be tangent also this to be yeah 35 is fine this to be let's, let's try that five and see from this point to this point let me use 10 mm, looks more 13 that's better okay now on to define the profile you see this profile here the curve that you have defined is this curve. Now I want to define the profile, this profile, this curve. If I need to go to the top view and create a line like that, these two to be perpendicular, this and this to be perpendicular also. Let me use uh, six. Use maybe uh, eight. Okay. 
Let's see what happens. Let me use a fillet here. A fillet of maybe two. Yeah, okay, that's it, that's fine. Now I have this curve that, that defines the front, how it looks like from the front. I, going bottom, I have now the curve that defines the bottom section. You can see this section here. Yeah. Today I'm just making this model simple for you to understand the basics of surface modeling at a advanced level. Um, I want now to, I want to, because I want to use loft, I want to create another, you can see here, let me just go back here to explain. You can see it starts here, goes all the way to here, you can see. Therefore, I want not to create this curve, you see this curve here, so that I can loft these two curves. That's my next goal. Therefore, I'm going back to the right view and this point, I can put a plane at that point, like that, okay? Um, even bef before I go back there, let me first for, let me first for go back to this sketch. Instead of defining this by eight, let's use this point instead. This point here, and use it. Then we call these two points coincident. Um, what's let me see? No more. Okay, I want to remove this. I want this line to do create a line there. This line and this line to be parallel, and this one to be for construction. Yeah, because I want my plane to lie at this point. If I dimension this now, this becomes, uh, okay. If I dimension from this point to this point, this becomes 8.7. Yeah, that's fine. This one will help us to create a good loft because now my plane, you can see my plane lies exactly at this point because now I have used this point to reference this point a small a very small gap on your curves will make your surface to fail then i can comfortably sketch here i can now do a, a spline like that i can easily pierce these two points like that that doesn't work let's now do coincidence instead yeah same case applies this point and this point coincident okay mm. left view shift three this to be vertical i need a line here just a geometric line because i want this curve and this line to be tangent then this one to be let's see let's see let me make it horizontal and dimension it may be 25 let's use 25 this one let's use a 20 i think that's okay that's fine. Now I have, let me first for hide this plane. I have this curve, this another curve here. I'm missing something for me to do a loft. Yeah, I need not, I can select this. Let me see, I cannot do the loft surface. I can loft this edge. To this one here let's see selecting this here okay there's something i want to explain but let me first of all finalize this and this okay as you can see now 
If I was to, let me do this practically. If I was to mirror this, the other side, uh, if I want to mirror this using the front plane, we will have some discontinuity here. If I go to the curvature visualization, if I do the zebra stripes, um, go left view, I want these two lines to flow very smoothly, then go top view, seems to work okay, but if I want to make this uh, a bit more smooth, as it flows from this side to this side. Um, before, bef before performing the the loft command, let me just go back here. I don't need this one. Yeah, it's not a must, but if you want to make your your surfaces to become more maybe G one continuity, instead of using this sketch as your guide. I would prefer you make a, 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 a surface and use this edge on the surface as your guide. Let's see how. how. Go back to the loft here. Before I go, let me first of all go back here, edit. I want to edit this one to make it new. That's fine. For the loft, edit. It's a new. That's fine. On the edge, this edge, I want to select this edge and select this surface because now I can say continuity to be tangent because I'm referencing the edge of a surface. But when you reference the edge of a sketch, you cannot change this continuity. You can see becomes an error. If I go to cover, it becomes an error. I have to I have to use none for sketch but for the edge of a surface i can still use any let me use much tangent therefore my when i do the mirroring now the, the this other surface will be exactly tangent to this surface then we can i don't need this one now i can delete that surface okay Next, next we need to define this surface here. Let's go back here. On to assume. Okay, I was I, I wanted to assume this passing at this point, but you no, know, it doesn't pass at that point. Look how it goes inside. It goes inside like this. Therefore, let's let's capture that here. Uh, one thing I need is to sketch on the front plane. Um, there's a plane. This one, this point, we want them to pierce. It doesn't pierce. Let's then use coincident. I. I for coincident. This point here. In this point here to be also coincident therefore vertical again I make a line for just for construction so that this and this can be tangent I can define this to be maybe that for this one here let's define this point from this point here to this point here. Let's make it to be 42. Let's start to make this, this one to be urgent. Yeah, I like it. That's better. I want now to create a, a surface from this edge. Therefore, a surface from this edge that go out like that. Okay. 
let me first for hide that surface. Then the surface I have created is this surface, this surface here, because I've used middle plane and I've extruded, you can see. If you go back here, this surface is this one here. You can see this surface. I want to create last surface at this point here. Let me go back to the this model. I want this surface now. Okay. Let's go back here. We need now. Let me hide this. Uh, I want to show this sketch because at this point, the exactly this point, I want a, a plane that with a respect to the right plane and a plane there. A plane there. Then I want to sketch on this plane. Let me first of all explain explain what why I want to create, the, create another another surface is because I want another surface because I want to trim I want to trim this surface and I want this gap you see this gap here to have a surface. And because I want to have a continuity between this surface and this surface here, I want another surface at this point, then I trim and I will delete those, I will delete those sections. Therefore, I need a, a sketch onto this plane like that. Let me hide this for visibility. Now, I want to create a spline. Um, this point and this point to be coincident, I don't want a line here for construction because I want this one to be tangent, this to be vertical. Same case applies. I want, since I want uh this this point let me first for intersect this bottom section here let me intersect this because my point i want this point onto the plane um then we can for construction therefore these two points now can be coincident then i can yeah like that Let me now define, if I define this to be, I think I can make these two to be tangent, to make it more, yeah, yeah, I, was, I think this one is not okay, because I want this one to be a little bit, to have an angle here, from this point to this point. Let's define this one to be 15, this to be 10, Define this one to be 16. I think this is fine. This is okay. Uh, let me hide this plane. Last three, I need, I need a line here that connects this to this. I can use, I can use the, the defeat plane. The relief is from this point to this point, like that. Show the sketch. And also, here I think I can use composite curve. Yeah? Let me use composite curve to be my guide on this side. Yeah. Now I can loft this edge. Oh, sorry, this edge i can use yeah i can use the that edge to this sketch you can see here then for the guide i want to use this composite so that this one goes like that but that is moving inside 
that's fine then for the second one i can use the bottom one here okay it has gone inside a little bit that's fine now i can activate my sketch not my sketch my surface then using the mutual trim this surface and this surface yeah then see okay you can see now i have this left and this second left next i can then first of all hide this hide the sketches i want now to mirror this the bottom surfaces all these ones here i want to mirror to the front plane if you see add yeah i can merge all of them to the one surface i have this one surface here i can now do some fill i can now fill this one here with a surface like that like that yeah but now when, if you hide this part you can see we have an open profile here uh let's now fix this i want to offset this surface therefore i want to offset here you do the an offset let me look for the offset surface offset surface this and this by zero fine let me hide the part and show the surface i want to delete this section here i want to use a mutual trim and i want to trim i want to delete that section if i interchange yeah like that deleted successfully let me see that i can now merge this yeah i can relate to the one surface when you when the surface becomes closed it becomes a part you can see now you have two parts one for the bottom and one for the top i can merge these two now if i want I can combine to be one part like that and i can attach appearance to be maybe black or or gray okay next is we need to model the top section now modeling the top section is uh, not is a bit simple yeah let's see how we can do how we can do it i need a sketch on the front plane to define to define this profile like that therefore you go to the front plane let me use this point i want to first for sketch new sketch convert this point and also convert this extreme endpoint convert entity then have vertical for construction construction lines are very important like that now i can draw an arc in the circle is uh, yeah like that on the bottom section i have to use a plane like that okay on this point here let me use another plane okay uh let's for dimension let me 
create let me show the my first sketch because I want to use the sketch to dimension stuff from this point to this point let's assume is uh, 50 uh, then from this point to this point here let's assume is uh, 20 Let's use 55 for this curve. I want another arc. I want to connect these two here. If you connect them directly, let's first for connect them directly because we will have bad surface. Mm okay. We can go a little bit higher. Then from this point to this point, B65. Let me use this one is, uh, let's use that for. Let's use this one to be 100. Yeah, let's first for fully defined one, one side. This one to be 25. This angle to be 60 predefined let's use that to be uh, 40 yeah let's go an angle of here to be 12 okay let's first for make this one to be 26 This has to face downwards a little bit. Oops. This itself on this itself to let first for fix this so that doesn't move because I want this um this to be 16. Then I can unfix. Let me unfix now. So that to see what is missing. What's missing here? Okay, total height is missing, and we have 25, 26, total height is missing, let's do this total height, let's go with 100, I don't like this point so much, but I can feel it, it. let me just feel at that point, Feel it here to be four. That point to be four. Okay, I think this can work. Let's first for let's work with this. Eh? Let's this is a front profile. You can always try to make it look more good. That's fine. Let's discontinue it here is fine. Because how more that's how most of the shoes look like. Next is uh, we need to create a top profile, top view. Uh, before that, let me go back to the front plane. New sketch on this one here to be let's convert entity. This section there, that's fine. Therefore, let me go back to the top view. From the top view, I want to get a sketch. No more. Uh, all of us have to hide this. The one, these two sketches here. Like that. I only need this one here. I want to do an ellipse. Like that, maybe a dimension to be maybe 45. This point, this point coincident. This point, this point coincident. Yeah, I think I have to delete one coincident here. Yeah? Let me first for undo what I have done. Okay, let me first for undo what I have done. 
because I want this point and this point. These are the points I want here. Therefore, this and this to be coincident. This point, this point to be coincident. This and this to be coincident. Yeah, that's what I want. Then I want to split. I want to split this. Well, split, split, split. In the yeah, split at that point and at that point. I want this one to be one curve different from this because I want to project these two curves eh? because this curve represent the represent front view. Then the same same curve will represent on the same same curve to, to represent this this view here because yeah okay go to the projected curve this onto this project this onto this doesn't work why why let me let me repeat project this onto this well, it depends on order of how you're going to select them this is the front view you can see Go, this is the side view the top view okay then let me first for activate my sketch eight yeah like that i think we need another we need a curve here a guide therefore going back to the right view on the plane there a plane at that point and need another plane here that point yeah i want to create some guides some guide curves one here this point use a knock I want to pierce these two pierce I can't pierce oh, let me see the reason why oh, they can't pierce because they are almost they almost lie on the same on the same point meaning this plane of mine let me do another plane instead. Yeah, maybe maybe 20 mm mm away. Yeah. Now I can sketch onto this plane. Want a knock like that. This and this to pierce and I can work. Uh also this and this here to pierce like that because this one this will be my guide this will be my guide here let me dimension it for now to be 60 yeah another guide on this plane this point this and this curve to pierce also go front view this point and this point to be coincident make it a bit maybe 60 also yeah we'll see how it looks like Then I need a composite curve. This edge, instead of selecting one by one, you can do create selection, then select like that. Instead of using tangent, you can use a loop.
put the target on the selecting infrared. Okay, this I think we have we have to I need to split this body before selecting the the curve because of this section here. Therefore, front split. How to split this part using the front plane? Just the, for the purpose of selection, so that I can hide one side like that, and I can now create selection edges. Tangent. I just need not to select one. Select everything for me. Now I have my composite curve. Let me now see what happens when I loft this curve to this curve. Let's see what happens to the guides. Guides here. This to be my guide. Okay, I see, I see. Meaning here, I need another composite of this and this point here, and this curve, to make them one curve. Therefore, I can use that as my guide. Uh, if I go to guides here, Let me first for hide this sketch it for ease of selecting the guides. Yeah. That that let me now show sketch it and this. Okay. Uh I don't like so much this surface, but you can just work with it how it is. I don't like how it flows. You can see it doesn't, it's not, doesn't have smooth continuity. You can see. Yeah. But for the purpose of this video, I think we can work with how it is for now. We can continue with how it is. One thing I want to do, I want to undo this loft. And I want to hide sketch eight and do a surface. You see this sharp edge. Yeah. Let me see. Basically, I want to hide this curve. And show sketch eight. And create a surface made of this, these two. The other direction like that so that instead of using this composite to do the loft i can use uh, this edge here let me hide this this edge no let me just let me just for answer press this let me edit instead of using these two um these two sketches here i wanted to use that edge of the surface but i've realized you cannot select one edge because i wanted this surface to be tangent to this therefore it, it seems we cannot use it therefore let me just for suppress it you can't use it as i as i predicted Okay, let me hide this sketch and I want to use this, before that I want to thicken this first, or let's, let's first fold to the mirror here, then we thicken later, as, a, as one surface, to avoid errors being generated. Okay, just now they can, they can this surface, it's supposed to be one surface. If I do the mirror, I want to add, instead of new, I want them to be one surface, 
so that we can weaken the surface as a unit 1.5 inside yeah like that hold on let me start. let me change direction to be inside yeah so that we can we don't have that overlapping now i can combine all these ones here on to boolean combine everything this part this part and this part be one part They cannot. Let's see. Let's remove this and see what happens. It works. Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. Let me, let me first for assign the top appearance to be red or blue, whatever you prefer. Then, last thing we need to do, we can add some fillets here. But I want to add some some rubber on this edge. Therefore, I want to do some selection here. Uh, tangent of this edge, yeah? edge this edge like that. Then do a composite. I want a sketch. Oops. A sketch onto the front plane, circle there to be 2 mm. Then I want this. Let me first for hide this part. I want this one here and this one here to be coincident. Oh. I want this this point and this point to be. To be coincident this point and this point to be coincident let me remove the first coincident like that this cover don't need it i want not to i want to sip this sketch onto this pub i don't want to add let me show now my parts here i want to add to this yeah like that can see yeah that's how you model a shoe in on shape using surface technique my next video we're going to model a mouse please subscribe share with your friends for them to learn the power of on shape see you in my next video thank you so much